top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Nephi Napkin. Okay. Time to stop stealing other YouTubers' intros. Uh, I should become original and make my own. Anywho, I was in a bad mood, like, this morning. And now, I'm in a slightly better mood. So I thought, perfect time to be playing some Disco Elysium. I, um, I think I said a while ago, but I, like, really want to finish it ASAP. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trudge through it. Because, to me, video games are also a thing to be on my task list. It's not necessarily something I can just sit down and be chill with. I have, I'm a human being, I got things to do, I want to do something after this, you know? Maybe my, my, my incredibly fast-paced life just doesn't fit in with video games, but, um... Yeah, that's why I've been playing a bit less recently and just want to, like, work, because I feel satisfied when I do that. But, uh, whatever, instead of fucking philosophical shit, let's just get onto this. Fucking... That is loud. Okay, hold on. I need to... I need to... not make this loud. I'm hoping the mic can still pick that up. But I, I'm, I'm gonna become deaf after this if that keeps happening. It's still very loud. Or it's probably just like this. Hold on, actually. Yeah, it's my master volume, not my Disco Elysium volume. Okay, cool. Let's go check everything out in this abandoned place that my past self forced me to be in. I remember that I didn't have to be here for like many reasons. Oh, this is a bocce ball that I can just use there? Okay. I remember that quest. What is this? I remember there's not like much a reason to be on here. The, floor. the color has worn off its white plates. Because um Oh yeah, the fridge is useless. I gave it somewhere else. Like the corpse I gave it somewhere else already. Oh well. It's sixty kilograms. Your triceps hum at the sight of these weights. Show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with. Lift them. Is 60 kilograms heavy? Sounds heavy. There are sure. no collars on the barbell. This is a safety hazard. Huh? Why does it feel so familiar? <laughs> it's not gonna work. Head hurts. Uh, look, Kim, it's a trap. There are no colors on the barbell. You're right. The weight may fall off. Better not touch it then. What kind of bastard would just remove the colors? It should be a It would be a violation of EPIS safety regulations if the gym was still operating. But it isn't. No one's supposed to come here anymore. I don't think I'll get anything if I do this or not. Um, is there any? I mean, I have beer. I mean, I'm currently intoxicated, so I might as well do it. Um, Alright. Do I have anything that'll lessen my uh, physical instrument? And anything that'll increase it? Okay, just one thing. Cool. Let's go. Uh, yeah. The barbell waits patiently on the floor. Like a dog for its master. Let's go. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I should stop doing that. You managed to hoist it off How the ground. How does it like hurt though? Like, come on, it'll, it'll just keep dangerous. being your on the ground. And sweat. Turns out you're no beast, just an old man with bad form. <laughs> Seems like I'm a little out of shape, or maybe these gloves just suck. Proper weightlifting gloves would definitely afford a better grip. Well, thanks for agreeing with me. Let's get out of here. Uh, maybe there's a way for me to increase my health without having to use this thing again. Uh, okay, hold on. 
Yeah, I can just go upstairs. I thought this was like a door I need to click on. It's fine. Kim, you got something to say? Say right now. It's dark. Oh. And the flashlight works a lot better if you hold it in your hand. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Yes, totally right. obvious. Now let's get to it. Some areas are inaccessible without your flashlight. Inaccessible? After you've acquired it, go to your inventory and equip it in a held slot to continue exploring. I needed Kim and the tutorial agent to remind me what the hell is happening. Great. Fine. You don't have a flashlight yourself, Kim. Alright. I guess I stole it from him. Uh, it like follows my cursor movement. Nice. Uh, let's just click on all these orbs. Stuffed and mounted. Demijon? That's a demijon. This thing, this place is big. Airship rotors covered in spider webs. Blades. Oh, oh pff, what am I doing? Can I get over here? Or do I have to go some other way? Yeah, okay, I'll go this way then. Man, isn't there any other better feeling than just uh, <laughs> going through an abandoned place and trying to find treasure? I, I love treasure. I think. I think that's like a part of me that I just, I just, I didn't know about myself, but it's so ingrained in me. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. Oh, it still follows my, the flashlight still follows my cursor. The radio computer. <coughs> just sitting here without anyone inside. This is the Ream Civic radio computer, model RC5120, equipped with a Feld mainframe and a Ream compatible printer. It's just, it's just the computer. I don't know if there's any like uh, power connected to it. it. Looks really cool. Look at this frame, and there's like a hatch for it. That's awesome. You think I should turn it on? We have one of these down at the station. But I never really learned how to use it. Yes or no, damn it. I'm gonna the turn it on. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. It's it. empty like a beehive without its brood. Some cables have been this left fun. dangling, disconnected. This Nothing Fuck. happens. Damn it. Memory should go. I clicked on that by accident. Missing. There's no tape in the player. All right, let's not play it. Press play again. Play Nothing again. happens. Play again. Nothing happens. Something's missing. There's no tape in the player. So an obvious. All right. Let's look at these. Uh, build, right? Your flashlight oh, slides over an old green chalkboard Rod, covered Rod, in scribbles, Rod, sketches, Rod. and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Some, Some of elf the writing guy. has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. Photos, drawings. These lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins, casting wax-based magic. Wax magic? Sounds Translucent useless. welkins with organs shining under their skin, and even ether welkins. Hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured, feverish mind? One of the Welkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. No, oh, these are the mini Welkins? I thought they were just people. There's a house there as well. Okay, then. This it's isn't important. Vara Hamira, a high Welkin. His face white and scarred like cracked marble. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. The note says yeah, all non-Welkin races will be purged. <laughs> the Haldor, the Tworg, the humans, and even headless men, all of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin. 
to rule them. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little welking creatures. I'm trying to like <laughs> flash a light into uh, Kim's eyes, by the way. Mm. Who are these creatures? Who drew them? Are they real? I have so many questions. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Okay, that's it. Oh, this has been educational. Let's move on from the world. Just look at those details. So much effort. And for what? All gone. Let's look at the schedule. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Cryptic words like sprint, daily minimi, and GPI span the marker drawn wow. grid. The grand scheme of production and money. Minimi stands for a mini meeting. It's part of a bigger framework for managing work called RUM. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. Uh, my actual major, you're learning about something called like sprint project development or something. I wonder if this is related. As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Looks like they didn't make it. I didn't finish the a note thing. in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, see the prod schedule filament for details. All right, uh, let's do it then. Let's check this out. There's a lot, there's so much stuff in here. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spreading like over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. The whole thing resembles Kadran mosaic tiles. Very pathetic. Hold on, how do I know a Kadran mosaic tile? History like classes, those. students with their textbooks oh, open, okay. study in the roots of our civilization. Those aquarelle blue tiles That's look beautiful cool. in the sun. Really doing that physics Radio frequencies, it seems. UKV 123.6, UKV 123.7, UKV 123.9. Some written notes, too. Sparse and cryptic. That yeah, makes sense why there's a radio computer here. Unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. Yeah, sounds medical. You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled The Game Master Frequency. A note says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. Huh. They must have had massive air width. These things don't come cheap. That's again. Who's Whoever playing? decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Lemmy's show, an adventure call. All of this is gone, left unrealized. Is that what they were trying to do? There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. My God, it's as if the less money they had. The more ambitious the project became. <laughs> mm. Because of the air with the law must have been Exactly. Huge. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Damn. Nothing. It's just lines on marble. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Alright. There's a door over there, but let's see what's inside here, if it's possible. Maybe I need a toy. Oh, okay. Great. I love money. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, there was more here. Slipstream logo. Okay. I got a production schedule filament memory. Which it told me to see on this thing, but maybe this is for the tape here? Can I insert it? Or do I need to hold it first? Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. Like a smooth draw, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Yeah, let's see what this is about. A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. 
Uh, maybe that's why there's elves here. This is like for the narrative, and they wanted to make a radio station where uh, players can call in and imagine they're in a fantasy world. I've, I've seen this concept before. Slowly filling up the abandoned hall. Adventure call until is a very cool show. Crackling and old, cutting into the air. Good morning. Fortress accident en rue de Saint-Gazelaine. Accident. This is East Inflindian Rapid Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? Uh, what, are you a machine or are you alive? I can't tell. Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old and my name is Evo. Putting in the now production schedule lets me call is someone. This the production schedule. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Lol. Okay, but where are you? How did you know I, I work am? as a repeater at the East Inflindian repeater station. It's my job to know where you are, Fortress Accident. As for me, well, I am sitting in my cubicle surrounded by a wall of radios. Sounds paranoid. On an island on the yeah. river Esperance. A small no woman, all skin and bones, sits in a room filled with audio equipment. Thousands of tiny lights are reflected mm. back from her prescription lenses, Sounds nice. like stars in the dark. Doesn't it get lonely, sitting there all by herself? Doesn't it get lonely? This lonely? <laughs> why would it get lonely? I get to talk to people all day. That's why she does this. Oh, now nice. please tell me the reason for your call for Trace Accident. What's the production the schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. You mean that glowing thing I put inside? Yes. Is that the production schedule? Yes. Good. Please repeat the password. You should ask her for a hint. <laughs> Is it my birthday? Please open this thing. Mmm. Should I just be honest? I'm really bad. I mean, I think like all, all of these are just obviously bad. But this one's at least forceful about it. My authority is high, so yeah. I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Okay, that's all for now. Thank you, and goodbye. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. The filament slides out of its glowing nest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back in the production schedule when I need it, but. I think besides that, I don't have much use for it. Is that it, by the way? Yeah. I think I just wanted to explore that place. Is there somewhere down here? Oh god, get down. Yeah, nothing. Looks like so someone stop. tried to reconceptualize their business here. I don't get Look, it. Look, the skis and rotor blades both bear the same slipstream there is logo. The logo. It seems like I can't show this that they started me. out making one, failed to turn a profit. And then pivoted to producing the other. Um, the question is, should they start when they That's a good question. Huh. Okay. A strange leap of imagination. Yet they still fail. Reality is ruthless. Yeah, I guess it is. All right, there's nothing here. Nothing behind here is either. I assume. Yeah. Let's get on to the next room then. Uh, if someone like comes in here and then steals the production schedule, we shouldn't do that. Advanced RPG in the universe. Damn. Well, I mean, we got a bit of backstory on uh, that place, so that's cool. I keep wasting my morale and everything, so. Do you know what? I'll just do this. It might be food. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment. Uh, 
The door Found is covered in frost, and the bear's eyes are glowing red. The bear looks oddly realistic. Is it taxidermy? I just had to really try to break the door down. A gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Let's look inside. The shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand uh, name Revachon Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. So at least look you at the You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. Yeah, give me the magnets. Uh, let's interact. Oh, uh, while well, we're right next to the fridge, you might as well use it. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Sounds like it's been here for a while. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangential at best. But the lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Read Someone it. has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing <laughs> stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. Off-site copy. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Sully Swaff. It's a film that memory like a USB stick or something. It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes, only for a computer. It's uh, like the production schedule you found. Only this one's an off-site copy. Oh, that's different. Okay, thanks, interfacing. That made it really clear. <laughs> who wrote the note? Someone who owns a radio computer? My guess is uh, as good as yours, officer. All right, I'm, I'm gonna assume the ginger kid is Kuno. That's where we came from. There's a hatch here. A thick layer of coal dust covers the furnace, oh, coloring it's a it furnace. pitch black. Now that I see it. Looks like this furnace has a face, and it's a face of agony. Kick it with your foot. What is this thing? Okay. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's connected to the chimney. No one has used it in ages. No signs of any recent uh, fire. Only dead rats. Uh, oh, okay. ring oh, damn it, why do I keep doing this? Your toe hurts. Okay. Smear your hands with coal. Now uh, I need to do A something about my health. Holy shit. Now covers your skin sinking into the wrinkles. Your hands look ancient. You feel the spirit of Ramut Karazai, ancient hero of Grad, pulsing through you. All that's left is to cover your face in war paint. Smear your cheeks black with coal. Totally cringe, but okay. Three dangerous stripes appear onto your cheeks, telling stories of your wild soul. What? What are you doing? I'm the reincarnation of an ancient little Naran Please warrior. Please wipe your face clean, officer. No, you're a proud warrior. Keep it. Kim trusts me? Yeah, okay. These three stripes give you strength in this dangerous realm. It would be foolish to remove them. It is only... okay. I'm spawning this dark place and I need the protection my war paint affords. And this protects you. This is traditional war paint. It will give me safe passage to the spirits that got this place. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Hell Just yeah. pointing out. This is not traditional 70s war paint. No idea where you got <laughs> Thanks, it. Thanks, encyclopedia. Alright. Do I look like that? Uh, it's hard to tell in this lighting. But uh, I fully trust that I do. And that I look awesome. Ice cream maker. Oh, hidden doorway. Get me in there. So I guess that's what it meant by being inaccessible. By the way, uh, does this flashlight have a battery? 
No, it doesn't. Okay. At least it doesn't say it does. A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. It's too dark to see in. Where are we? Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cache. Damn, I want them. Alright, that's a, that's a hole in the wall. There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? I think this will kill me because, oh my god. Okay, dude. Your hand like reaches like deep of... into darkness and spider webs, rummaging around. You find rusty rifles hidden away. Inspect the rifles. Most of them are rusty and inoperable, like Damn the rest. It. But one catches your eye a bolt action model with a fine wood stock in better cosmetic order than. Take it. You're a police officer. Police officers carry guns. Yeah, we do. Give me That's a, a rare uh, sight. Seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. What does this mean? A rifle here. I feel like it does. I feel like they just wanted to hide the rifles even better. Alright. Damn, I got one. Does it make me look cool? If I, <laughs> Wait, oh, it's just an item. Ah, I can't. It's not a tool, I see. God damn it. Okay. Let's go deeper into this hole. Oh, wait, that's the thing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I was supposed to interact with this thing. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. I might as well just be like fully healed. Let's open the crack You slip lid. your fingers under the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come in handy here. No, this is going to need something else. Some kind of super pry bar. Don't even try to open it with a regular pry bar. What? You're just wasting your time. What the hell is a super pry bar? If you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. Equip the pry bar by going to the tools tab in your okay, inventory. Okay, thanks. From there, you can equip it to a held slot. Get that thing then. Oh, there it is. So I'll, I'll put my flashlight in one hand. The this in orange the other. machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand cranked ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. I I think that I will get like hurt if I do this. Uh, so nah. I mean, I got a couple healths, but eh. I, I, just in case. And it's not really even gonna work. It's, it just won't. 3%, I'm not doing it. I'll come back here later then. That's it. It'll keep track of uh, white checks and everything. What's this? Two I'm cables just... are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads to the ice bear fridge, and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. If I unlock the black cable, does this mean like it'll help? Oh, there's a rat! There's a rat there! Dude, cool. Okay, let's Something see close works. to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? It's black, it's not like it's the red one. <laughs> I have a reason, I, does it... Like, unlock it better? I have no idea. I don't know why I inflected it. I do think that reason. The raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. The electric distribution board now has one cable missing. Alright, does this help? I don't think it will, but I'm, I don't know. Let's experiment, this you know. This machine is dead still. It has a hand cranked... Oh, I forgot to put it in. I need a free hand, okay? <laughs> Uh, this orange machine is dead still. Unplugged. It has a hand cranked ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. It helps, but it does nothing. <laughs> it doesn't even help at much or at all. Okay. Uh, I'll keep it plugged in because, like, only the red cable is plugged into the box. 
while the black one lies neglected. Like it was on, on for a reason, I feel. Somewhere, a machine hums along with the current, happy and contented. Okay, let's, let's check this, that last thing. Ooh, damn. It's black and cool and everything, unlike me. <laughs> a clinically insane. Honestly, it's not much better than this drama thing. Like, this gives me uh, electrochemistry as well. Yeah, oh my god, hell yeah. What do these shoes do? Oh, minus one cigar fare. Okay. Uh, I need a shirt. Wh what am I feeling today? Physical instrument, logic, or conceptualization? I think I'm going with logic. Let's go. Uh, minus one drama. Yeah, I don't need drama, I think. An authority. Yeah, I have, too th I have too much authority. Let's go. Oh. Hey, we went out the other side. Cool. We broke through, I assume. I just need to can go back in. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Fort oh, this is like an old, um, I don't know, business office building. Hmm, I see. Yeah, there are a couple of things in there. Fortress Accident. Can I read Silence. this? No one's home at Fortress Accident. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we we were there already. We pushed the button. I thought we'd like get, I don't know, a bit more information about it. I guess not. It's 8.55 on the third day. There is a new place I could go to. Um... My mind sure is racing with things to do. Let's get two super trues for Edward, which is across the bridge. And uh, the thing that kind of I don't get, I guess, is um, the the body. Like, what happens to the body now? Is it just? above me and now I'm just doing a bunch of side quests. I thought like I don't know what the main quest was I suppose. Alright. It really blurs the line. Yeah everyone's still <laughs> just kinda here I guess. Let's talk to that abuse victim. I should buy more uh health the drugs. Door is closed. Who is it? This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. Okay. Cool. Uh, I assume that's the bathroom, maybe? She had an extended stay. Come on up. Alright. I'm so curious, though. What is it? I shouldn't be using my flashlight now, actually. Hold on, I forgot I was wearing it. This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. I'm going to help myself to those meds, please. The shelves. Sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops. Blood thinners. She probably needs it, but damn, give Pill me one. Pill bottles give rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol. Histoperidol. Something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Necra. Necra. This is used to treat opioid overdoses. Always handy to have around. Huh. Keep it to yourself. Antagonist? The lieutenant glances at the rows of pills, then at the door. Uh, give me some. Among some foreign, probably Messinian or Gottwaldian, marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little 
know how. Yeah, my electric chemistry is already high. Let's do this. A bright orange bottle with preptide stamped on it. In sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. What's so exciting about it's it? speed, man. Just oh my god, I want some speed. They call it dextroamphetamine and talk about psychological disorders. But what we're seeing here is some scientifically advanced trucker speed. I think my interfacing is as high as it could be as well. Let's go. <laughs> It's, I mean, I could take it in plain sight later, I guess. But, like, the woman is upstairs, you know. Kim would notice, but eh. Let's go. Silently, yeah, yeah. the bottle slides into your palm. Then, as you turn, into your pocket. By the way, I, like, failed. 83% uh, um, percentages before, There's so that's why I'm so annoyed. You got it. Here comes the afterburner. Time to become a super detective again, Harry. Just put it in your sweaty little hand now. Just gotta be honest, I wanted um, some health <laughs> meds, but you know what? Speed is the, sec the second best thing. Let's go up. I know we're talking to, a, to an abuse victim, but like, <laughs> we also stole her medicines. Speed, speed is bad for you, right? This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Okay. Smooth as ice. There are spots of mud and rain on the outside, even smudges. But the surface of the window is clear from the inside. No chips, no hairline fractures. Following your lead, the lieutenant leans in closer to inspect the surface. This window was recently replaced. Looks like it, yes. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I thought I could walk out here. Oh, that's how that works. It was just like a thing on the... Okay, I was wondering how to get up here as well. It was just a ta- it was just a mat. As I was supposed to know. Welcome to the roof. Okay, I'm not gonna like question her too Below bad. Her silvery jumpsuit. Tight as said otherwise. Young body, built long and lean. Great train of pain. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Is there a cleaning lady? I think I need one. Oh yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. No, I just trashed the place. I know. That's probably also why the cleaning lady quit. I'm Kim Kisuragi. I'm a detective from Precinct 57. I see you've already you met my wanted colleague. to, like, find a guy, the person who made the call. Have I ever? Could it be this one? Have woman? you grown accustomed to your role as a police officer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do feel, feel the, the power. power. I've, I've added a lot of that into it. Uh, once have you grown accustomed to the power? I can see that. It suits you. It sure does. Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Huh. I see. How does Kim know that? What the hell? Be careful. He wasn't Ask here yesterday. Ask else first. When you go there, use words like, I hear you have been through something All right, I don't difficult. do that. I have a personal question. Okay, what is her name? It is the class for the record. Lazie Amondu. Okay, okay, that's it. The record, so official. Can I tell us you've been through something difficult? Something difficult? I've been through at least half a dozen difficult things. Which right. one do you mean? By sexually assaulted. Miss. By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? Yes. It's a bit early in the morning for rate, isn't it? She sounds positively bored. Know, 9 a.m. is kind Vivacious, of a bit late. Totally unbothered. What does that mean? Are you? Yeah. I'm going to go with not raped. I can't say that stuff about him. But 
Then what were Tell you? Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapeable. Huh? Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery, sexual assault maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. Hmm. Okay, let's ask everything then. I was gonna ask this because it's the most important one. Yeah, uh, sure. I get my answers here. Uh, we'll just conclude. What did they hang him for, if not rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. And his role in this strike was... what? I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military. Worked for Wild Pines. And against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. Uh, okay. They just ask to spice things up for us? Pretty much. Warming them. Oh, are you sure you weren't raped? I'm 89% sure. So you're not entirely sure. You know how it is. Do you? <laughs> how is it then? Hmm. Maybe you don't know. Damn it. In conclusion, officer, I'm gonna go with a mild to medium not raped here. Okay. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss, but we need a definite statement. Let me make this 100% clear then, officers. I was not sexually assaulted. Would I be this flippant if I had been? What did happen between you and the victim? We partied. Bloated voice, face, what did I do? Can't I do? Oh. Where have I heard that before? A lot of partying going on. From Titus. About her and Titus's relationship. That's Oh, uh, now I remember, it. okay. What do you we mean drank, party? Sir, a lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. What else? Stimulants. Speed also has uh, that effect. Making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. We also had sex. There were feelings involved. A little. The drugs were good enough and we did enough of them. How did you two meet? Downstairs. At the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. She appears aloof, but that scar part, the scary, is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? With longing. She misses him. Thanks. When was this? A month ago? Something like that. Mm, I see. Must have been hard for you, seeing him there. Oh, yes. I've had a great view. From the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. Damn. A bitter cringe. It cringe. hurts. He looked to the lieutenant. Oh, God. I'm seeing the pain threshold by painting this closely, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, sounds bad. He takes bad. a small step closer. You called us, DRCM. Yes. Oh, we know who the caller is. Jackpot. The call. Reporting the hanging? That was you? I made it. And I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, they call it snitching. Reporting crimes is confidential in Ravachol, miss. Mm. Call's voice is disguised. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Okay. With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. Into the cold wire. So that's why the phone is out of order. She tampered with the whirling landline. And in the process, you broke the landline downstairs. Did I? Fuck. I didn't mean to. I had no idea what I was doing. Jigsaw falling into place. This is satisfying. 
Good catch. I appreciate the symmetry. Oh, right, because my physique is off. I was like, why did I lose one health? Like, there were three before. What the hell? Still, okay. that's pretty clever tempering. Simple and clever. Crossing the lines like that. Mm, don't mention it. <laughs> Actually, no, no, that was nifty. Thanks. I go through the target. I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, you'd still be hanging there. Do you know enough about the victim? I feel like we might know him a bunch already. Yeah, might as well ask more. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. Okay, then. I keep seeing him like he is now. I can't talk about his, I don't know, hair. All right. I know it's difficult, miss. We can return to it later. She yeah. meant she sees him in her dreams. Mm. I think I've seen him in a dream before as well. You have? Not like I do, I imagine. Okay, I better cut through this part of the talk. Oh, yes. How did the Hardy boys know you? They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're there all right the time, every day since yesterday. How did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you party? A little, yeah. Like you partied with the deceased? No, not as hard. Okay. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy boys? I have. Understood. Mm, it's probably Titus. She sips her coffee. Birds circle overhead. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. You know what? We're a cop. We need more info. Could that be why they lynched him? I hope not. Actually, I know that's not the reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you uh, know? okay. But that's probably where they got the rape idea. What do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. <laughs> okay, thank you for telling us all She this breathes place. a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. As he says so, you feel the young woman looking at you and get a feeling you can't quite put your finger on. A suspicion? He susses me. Oh, I am in the Empire ring, so let's go. I heard something else. Before you go, a little thing. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. <laughs> Later. What's the sus thing, though? Or was it this? More about the so-called assault? I don't really have a personal question. Let's see what it is, though. Yes. You're just one room away. It's two Very rooms away, personal. wasn't it? Good. Yes. This means she could have heard something. Like what you were doing before you blacked out. Hmm. Were you in Sunday night? I need to know what I did before I lost my memory. You do not need to know that. What you need is to ask normal police questions. Like... Get a grip, he thinks. At least do your personal stuff when I'm not here. Fine. Why not? I'll be here until 11 p.m. Drinking coffee, most likely. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Good to know that. It's great that, like, a lot of people... Um, I'm just just as you look at the flowers, a gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. Discard a chance, so that means I can only do this once. Okay. My hand-eye coordination is decent. Let's go. The wind brushes them <laughs> off the roof. They Jump go. off the roof and catch it. Ah, oh, well. Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Half their reasoning just went out the window. 
Yeah, so, like, the motive wasn't there or something. Like, they wanted to kill the guy because they raped a woman. But the woman wasn't raped, so, like, huh, you know? Things will make them cooperate. Nothing will make them respect the RCM, but it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. Why did she tell herself that? What else could she have done? Lie? She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. I'm not sure she had to lie. I wouldn't have known. If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. Alright. Something is off here. You think so? She seems forthcoming. Unusually so. Being forthcoming about some things is a good way to obscure other things. Damn, she's The best right. liars are always forthcoming. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our investigation will bring us back here soon enough. To ask her about uh, a few things. The victim and what I was doing on Sunday night. What is this door though? What is it? The same small heavy door. No lock in sight. Uh, where does this lead I to? I don't know. <laughs> I thought... It is not the first closed door we found in this building. There is also your mysterious blue kitchen door. Uh, I thought that led to your apartment, Ken. I don't know. The further we get, the more this building seems to be tied to the case. The vigilantes, the cadaver, and a number of people connected to the case are in or around this building. This door is part of it. It's not unimportant. I knew it. Push. It's barred from the inside. Damn it. You hear the bar rattle in the brackets. Okay. It's a light check, right? Uh, where's my... Was it a pry bar or a chain cutter? The chain cutter is for locks, I assume. Uh, but it's barred from the inside. So that the same much. small, heavy door. Nope. Okay. No in sight. Yeah, I could try, but nah. Physical instrument is also pretty low. Let's check if it does increase just a bit. Just you know. The same small heavy okay. door. Slightly. No lock in sight. Mm. I'll check him later. I'll get some beer by then. The speed. Oh, motorix. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> my, my, my quests tell me. To... My quest tells me to get speed, so we're gonna do speed. I'm going to do the drug route. <laughs> Why not? Alright, let's put all these back then. I don't know where my good shirt. I don't know what logic does necessarily, but why not? How high is my logic? Five? Dude, cool. I don't know, I, I always thought like the Motorix one is like, the weirdest one, but at least my interfacing is pretty good. Let's get out of here. We need to talk to the Hardy boys. <clears throat> they know some things. I think I'll take the, um... I'll take the speed when I need something for interfacing or hand-eye or whatever. Hardy, you liar. What's this thing? Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna just... There's a little slide panel up there to let some air in. No need to open it in spring. It's still too cold outside. Mm. Damn, I think I might actually need my speed a bit earlier than usual. Oh, I thought, like, oh, I should get that dandelion again, but then I realized it was a, a red check, so whatever. Okay, Hardy, what's your deal? You lied to us. The clowns are still hanging around. What is it now? It's us, the clown house. Uh... Okay, class? Kura says she wasn't raped. Fuck! I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. You've hit a nerve. Titus is furious. No, more than that. 
the loyal Titus feels betrayed. Oh, so that's why he did not want us to ask her things, I see. For the record, Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore, nor did he say anything about trusting her. <laughs> I thought it was very obvious who we were talking about. Oh, shut up and stay out of this, Liz. He raped her. He was out of his fucking mind. You have no idea. She's just in denial, asshole. You don't understand the traumatic experience. She's shutting down. And she doesn't fucking trust you. Yeah, she's crazy, you know. A crazy bitch. <laughs> you know the type. She's fucked up. Cut the bullshit. She told me the truth. Lawman. I'm at the end of my goddamn rope with you. I fucking told you not to push her. We didn't push her. And you went and pushed her. I am gonna fucking... Titus Hardy. Yeah, stop. Success. Titus backs off. Fist down, everybody. Everard personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in the shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? <laughs> Dude, cool. Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. Look, Copper. We know uh, that that fuck was a rape the and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. You know the dead fuck? Okay. <laughs> Show it to him, T. What's the harm, right? Wow, is this the is this the sad Japan tape? No, why does I say Japan? The sad song tape. Here, jerkwad, listen to this shit, and then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. This is their last play. This tape, their story is in tatters, a mess. It might be nice to listen to, but at this point, you don't need to. <sighs> okay, I, I need to buy a tape player from the guy, but goddamn, that's gonna be expensive, I bet. Um, there could be somewhere else. Does the thing in my room play tapes? It should, right? Whatever, let's see. It's on this. Wait, hold on. Why should I care about the tape? You lied to me. You don't care about evidence. The fucking you a cop for then? Fix, D. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting convictions. They are fucking keeping a score on their bulletin boards. I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we got nothing to talk about. Mm, all right, I feel like some of these are obvious. Like, what's, I mean, you could just read it. They, they got him to say the thing about that, I assume. I do want to know where I can listen to this, but I doubt they'd care. Let's see if my predictions are correct then. What's on this tape? What's on it? We call it the door gun a mega mix. <laughs> you know why? Won't the you mega mix. It? Hell yeah, bro. Where'd you get this tape? You think we go into this shit deaf and dumb? You RCM aren't the only ones who know how to bug people. There's no university degree for that. Oh, bug them? We okay. have machines. I thought they we're in logistics. Interrogate. How do you think him? a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Understood? You've listened in on their communications. How long? Since way before their chief started taking swing lessons. Things got nice and quiet after that. This one of you is doing this advanced radio work It's then. not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets hot as hell in there. All right, so we know who did it. Don't put yourself down, Angus. It's important work. Yeah, man. They're like a radio genius or something. Those notes are some in-depth stuff. Indexes and shit. Damn, I can't believe it. Where can I I'm listen sure to this? we can find a tape player. Where can I listen to this? Why don't you try shoving <laughs> it up your ass, genius? Maybe. <laughs> Play it with your ass, cocksucker. <laughs> I'm sure we can find a tape player. It's not a problem. Your room had one. Or maybe it's too broken. Yeah, that's enough for now. Don't forget your tape, lawman. Compliments of Titus Hardy. <laughs> I can get it. I can do this better without it. Nah, I'll get it. You do that. Oh, you 
keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human ugliness someday. This is, um, who is it? Saw the hanger. This is the guy, the business guy, right? Uh, or was this, um, damn it, whatever. It's probably the business guy. It doesn't matter to him. Let's just leave. Okay, about my quests, I had a few more things to do. I wanted to check out the new area. Um, so, before we go straight into that, let's, uh, yeah, and I assume this is not a sad song tape because the, this thing did not update, I guess. Sing karaoke. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to do one more thing and then we'll listen to the tape. Or, you know what, since we're here, I want to check if it's broken. I Or not, I think it is broken. What was I even doing? I was just listening to disco, damn it. Okay. I couldn't interact with it before, but now I can, I guess. The compact tape player is still and silent. Seems it has completely broken down now. The machine was made in Revachol by a company called Le Mercier. Their logo depicts the triple tower Delta skyline. It was supposedly built to last. There's no fixing this one. This would have been very helpful with the Mega Mix, but it isn't anymore. Yeah, any ideas? My Kinema only comes with radio. Let's try to find a new tape player. Perhaps we should talk to Roy at the pawn shop. He has stuff. Oh, where do I get this? Where do I get the money to get the stuff? It might, it might be too expensive, but I don't know. I'm hoping it's less than what I got. I mean, I mean, you just we don't have to buy the thing. We just have to rent it or just use it literally once. Anywho, before that, I want to check on one more quest. It's called the Bocce Ball. We'll give him the Bocce Ball. We just found a thing here. Okay. Hey, buds. You want a Bocce Ball? Officer. Ah. God damn it. Pull yourself together, Rene. Oh, you're Rene. What do you want? Now I remember. I found you guys' new boat. Yeah. What is this? How are you mocking us? This isn't for Pitonk. Now, now, no need to get angry again, Rene. I'm sure the officer tried his best. It's not like there's a bull kiosk here in Martinez. Uh, just not gonna be an alternative. I suggest taking it. That's how it is, huh? Fine. I guess you did attempt to write your hooliganism. Consider it forgiven. Great. I just wanted to show you a photo. Where's the F F oh right there? I found your guard booth. That's yes. the one. The Debardeurs Union pays me to stand vigil during the night. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. <laughs> he feels like he has to justify himself for some reason. <laughs> okay. I don't care about the murder anymore. I think I got everything pretty clear. Just gotta follow the main quest for this one. I saw a picture in there. Well, you, you were in it. You looked happy. Who's the girl? She is nobody. This is none yeah. of your concern. And I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. Sounds about right. The lady is Jeanne-Marie Beaulieu. And she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Got it. Thanks. Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. Yeah, I like how when you go to a lot of places and explore a bunch of things, you could talk to the same people and get more out of them because they're, it's like they're related to them. That's cool. Let's me backtrack, but it actually has new things to say about other stuff. All right. Let's go. Um, find a tape recorder. <laughs> Is Kim following me? Let's 
Get out of here. Where was it? There it is. <laughs> My god. I want complaint. It's very it's technical more than anything. Whenever I walk around, it does not will let me go to where I want it to go. And it just the characters sometimes just like walk around weirdly. It's kind of a funny effect. The boomboxes wait on the shelves. And your boombox, that gold and amber, Harmon Waoshi, stares at you long with its tape real eyes. Can I just play a tape on one of the bean boxes real Sorry, quick? man. I can't be giving out freebies. Never have, won't now. Shopkeep. Mysterious approved machine here. Is the Harmon Walshi W2? Made in Vespa. Designed in Seoul. Plays all reel to reel format. 2mm, 8mm, 12mm. Hoping it's the even thing, got a the little radio Doom radio Gunner. There. Uh, It'll make a mix you back with 12 that. Real. Uh, can I get a discount? Give me a, a discount. discount. I do have to keep the lights on, man. It's 12 real. Just don't ask him for the smallest amount. You'll insult him. The others will work. <laughs> Four real. <laughs> How does 10 real sound? Sounds like a ripoff, but okay. I can make it 10, but no lower. Alright, whatever. Enough. Let's do this. Two Royale, I can use that to buy drugs, honestly. Use the money for the boombox. And here you are. Quality sound reproduction on the go. It'll play anything. Wherever. Turn any tape into a conversation of sounds and shapes. Nice. Do you got any tapes that are sad? I don't think there's anything of the sort here, because I checked everything. Oh well. As I'll check these though. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the lights here. That's what the film projector is projecting. What is this? Cash register. I, this is like really hidden in the back here. Military wear. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Before that, I want to buy some drugs. Uh, let's get to the Frit store then. Uh, I'm running low on that. I should increase my endurance just so I could live more, but I don't know what's like the minimum to increase your health. Uh, if it was endurance anyway, I don't remember what it was. It should be endurance. Uh, drugs. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various any magnesium, medicine bottles, I get magnesium laser for sprays, everywhere. and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Money, I mean drugs. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. All right. Hey, uh, <laughs> the free clerk can just listen into the tape that we we're about to play. Equip this to play tapes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just putting it on my head. Let's go. The porter reel is just what you needed. The reels attach to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is rooted behind the magnetic reader. Play the tape. You push, command set, and the tape starts spinning. Violent static and machine sounds fill the air. This isn't Revishar. This is a fucking village. I can almost see the elephants. <laughs> Oh my god. The harbor. That's the son of a Valsun crane. Uh huh. When this nice shit is done, I'm gonna tear that place up. Soldier of the Apocalypse style. Kill shit. Dogs and chickens too. Damn, sounds like a death grip song. Gonna run a room, Cordy. A real nice room. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking done. I'm done mentally. I'll fucking do them all in. Rape that disco cunt on the counter. You know, the dance of whore upstairs. Do it Kohoi style. Never did get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, okay, they taped specifically that part. The lieutenant presses the button marked 
Arete on your portal reel. The tape stops spinning. <laughs> Let's go, Hoyt. All right, what do you think? It seemed authentic enough. Probably recorded off the shortwave, then edited to seem more incriminating. He sounded like he was on patrol around the harbor walls. <laughs> Just letting off some steam. He sat. He decided to need Still. So There's more start. going on here than we know. Uh, okay. Is that at the very end? End sense? of recording. Ah, uh, okay. Who's Cordy? One of the other mercenaries, I think. The one he was talking to. A friend of his? It's Cohoy. A village on the Samaran Isola, in South Safre. Grad committed war crimes there, the kind of thing he talks about. <coughs> okay. Who knows? Maybe the tattoos would have an answer. We would need to know the story of this man's service. Okay, then what now? I think we've got a few more questions for class here, don't you? This seems to contradict her testimony. At least to some degree. That she wasn't raped? It was that 11% I assumed. As you take out the tape, the boombox tunes itself back to the cheery radio again, spewing out beats like it's a Friday night. Hell yeah, babe. The contrast feels chilly. It's yeah, not the thing I would sing to, sadly. I need something sad and well shit. Uh, th the music doesn't continue. Oh man. I, I went around and I picked up a bunch of money, but I don't know if it's trash. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, oh, a bottle. One bottle oh, I need to drink. Ten cents. Ah, oh, I see. Guys, no. Uh, nope. You need to tear to use the tear machine. Oh gosh. Alright, bye. Uh, do I have to anything new to say to this guy, actually? He's like one of the first deep people. Looking for something odd? Oh, it's raining. Don't you tell me uh -huh. to fuck off again? <laughs> yeah. Lol. Fuck off. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm, just, I'm gonna look at him because the orbs tell me I get experience. Uh, street name is intelligible. Fuck the police. Uh, all right, let's go to class again. There's definitely a way to pronounce it correctly. Uh, as it said in the pause screen, I don't remember how. Kuras, the class, we are gonna keep this boombox next to me. <laughs> so she would show she would listen to it. Okay. Officer? What brings you up here in the rain? It is raining. Why would why are you up here if it's raining? Okay. Titus Hardy gave his recording where the deceased states his intention to commit rape. She puts her coffee cup down with a soft ring uh, as the porcelain meets the metal table. You're just smoking though. Did he? I never said he was a good man. Or that he had good intentions. Only that he was never bad to me. On this tape, he specifically identifies you as the target. Mm, where did they get this recording, exactly? Oh, it's intercepted fuck. radio chatter of the deceased, recorded via the encryption station. It's authentic enough. Does he say he's gonna do it Soldier of the Apocalypse style? I think that's exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah. That was practically his pickup line. Did he say whores a lot? Was he pretty much on the verge of doing it Kohoi style? Kohoi was mentioned. He wasn't actually there. He didn't do a tour, or at least didn't tell me he did. Would have been overkill anyway. He lived his own little Kohoi. It wasn't his everything. Why say things like that? That she smoked? Yes, w was he bragging? Oh no, I'm pretty sure he did all those things. Then integrated them into his idea of normalcy. Keep on living. 
until they just sort of turn into his, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's probably persona. Running joke. I was going to say running joke. And it sounds like you didn't even get the good bits. Lely's punchlines got way, way funkier than that. Hell yeah, bro. He was like the Semenese conflict, the Kohoi massacre, and the 36 famine in Yezu all rolled into one person, then cast in Orani ceramic armor, which he wore in bed and in the shower. All right, he did wear armor. Mm, spent time with this person, romantically. We're all scraping up any happiness we can find, officer. Sounds about right. Going around with our little scouring sticks. You, your first love, Mr. Kohoi here. Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things? In Martinez, I mean? No. We were too busy laying waste to our own nervous systems to direct any of the fury outward. He seemed... He seemed happy, I guess. At ease. As much as a man like him could be. There was a small measure of pride in her okay. that she could quell the rage in such a being. What kind of man was he? Before you go, Ask for details. Yes. She seems I okay didn't need to, to do that. It. Thank you for clearing that up, miss. Whenever you're ready. I'm interested to hear what Titus Hardy has to say now. Yeah, so we're basically just the in-between men for Hardy and her. She takes a very small sip of her coffee and smiles. I wonder if... Uh... I don't remember what I was going to say. Okay, anyways. Now that you had some time, can you talk... Tell us more about the victim. Like, for example, his name? Actually, officer, I didn't know his name. I just called him Lely. Can't believe a it. A nickname? I guess. He came from Lely's dad. It's short for that. Oh, and it was his idea. army name, apparently. It's not even short for his name. He said his real it's name just... wasn't his. I tried to pry it out of him, but it was no use. Uh. Lely's dad. That's a good start. We have a few questions you can help us with. A few things a field autopsy alone can tempt. There's like, yeah, there's a page thing sound effect. The young woman cranes her it. neck, trying to catch a glimpse of the page the lieutenant passed to you. On it is a list of autopsy observations recorded neatly in blue ink. The last missing pieces of a puzzle of flesh. Okay, let's ask him the questions then. <laughs> You're finished. Okay. Where's Lely Stad, the place I mean? In Oranje, officer. It's, um, I think municipality is the term. A nowhere town there. The Lely Stad municipality right. has few boroughs and even fewer cities. It's made of agricultural plots near the border of Gotvold. Executive summary. Cows, silos, and wheat. You are almost right, officer. That means his race was occidental, not mondial. I'll update the form. Okay. Her eyes follow yours on the piece of paper. She okay. doesn't mind this questioning. On the contrary, she enjoys thinking back to him now. Nice. This is a sort of wake for her. How old is he, miss? He was 42. 42? Are you sure? I would have had him above 50. He had many scars that made him appear older. But no. Okay. He even celebrated his birthday like some weeks ago. It was a funny two days. He had little reason to lie to me. Looks like you were right, officer. Wait, so if I was right, I get experience. Points are good. Have one, you old dog, before we all die. My health. All right. Uh, I did not know this is a competition. It isn't. Police work is a cooperative sport. I guess you're right. My color? Blue. L light blue. They were like, like little blue galaxies, you know? It was strange, seeing those eyes in his fucked up face. Uh. Pardon the swearing. I do him an injustice. He wasn't ugly. And he had a beautiful, soft voice. Very surprising, what with all the scarring. It was quite something, watching him speak. I guess He so. had a combat wound on his chin and mouth. Yes. Severe. It made him look like half his face was cracking away in some strange smile. That and those eyes. Oh, yes. 
His hair, if you can remember. It was light brown, almost blonde. He darkened it with brilliantine, made oily, not nice to stroke. I couldn't convince him to leave it alone. Tattoos. Oh, that. It's clear she liked it. <laughs> that was an RNG's map for the waterways? Sure, waterways. It was mostly for showing off to chicks, though. Oh, I see. How so? How? <laughs> Imagine him lying in bed. Freakish musculature laid out on the sheets. Scarred, of course. Tattoo. The sheets are dirty for some reason. He's smoking and drinking, of course. And his chest and shoulders and arms are studded with stars. Tens, hundreds That's of them. That's a lot. Maybe even thousands. Ouch. Tattoos hurt, y'all. And the woman goes like, what was this, baby? Okay, I guess this and answers says, the how so. That was too hardcore. Don't ask me about that. So she goes, okay, but what's this, baby? And he's like, saw some bat shit there. Killed some loincloths. And so it goes. Star after star. Port after port. Third world country after third world country. And he's done horrible things in every single one of them. You're the woman in this? Oh, yeah. Can you tell us precisely what these mean? No, thank you. I've seen enough of him dead. I can tell you what they meant without looking at them. Okay. Go on. He was a blue-eyed boy with thick arms. From a small town. He was also poor, and the government of Aranya needed some people killed. So they turned him into a grotesque killer. For money. He went to Killer Academy in Fredefort. Then he killed some people in the Seminine Islands. And on other islands, too. If I... All of the islands. After this, he came to Ravishol and got killed himself. If I level up, that means... I get experience. <laughs> Is that what it means? Alright, whatever. Well, I got answers for the tattoos, at least. Good story, thanks. Nah, thank you for putting that up. Change of topic, perhaps? Yes. Um, could it be love <laughs> did him in? Okay. It very well could be, yes. What do you need? What do I mean? I have no idea. I don't even know what you mean. Love did him in? What does that mean? She told me love did him in. That's not funny, officer. Her voice is like a slash through the air. Her shoulders tense up. Uh, okay. Something miraculous is coming, he told me. The lieutenant blinks. His expression does not change. All right, let's see where this is going. From way out in the northwest, he told me. Cool. <laughs> okay. I think we finished with this line of questioning. All right. Coolly, gracefully, she pours herself more coffee. Great. Still into his lateness. So you do have something Wait, else to stop. ask about... That man, bloated beyond all recognition, about was 42. About Titus, is what I meant to say. That's what she said, yeah. Below the damage, the weeks of decomposition, all the swollen indignity of mortality. He was 42 years old. What does 42 have to do with it? How old are you? That's where this is going. 45,000 liters of raw alcohol has left its disfigurements. What lies beneath, you wonder? You could ask either one of them. Okay. I got this. My age. I think I'm... Yes. I'm old. Early 30s. A rough 30. I've lived it up. Probably middle aged, but okay. I don't know, 30 sounds right. You're a I rough guess. rider, but not in your early 30s. Do you want to know the truth? What's the truth? To the laboratorium. Uh, okay. Fine. This just lets me. This just lets me know how old I am. And that's, that's the whole thing. Nice. 
I, I might actually put points into homosexual underground because that sounds about right. Okay, Dwarf and our Mega Mix. Talk to Titus about it. And I need to do that later. And I want to check out the new area. Alright, I think this is the main quest line, so you know, it's important. You got shit to do. I should also turn off the door gunner mega mix. You know, we're gonna confront Hardy about it, so like, might as well just keep it on. I'm not putting my left hand on the keyboard whatsoever, let's just, let's just go. Oh, if you double click, you run. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is a better way. I don't have to use my other hand at all, so that's cool. The clowns are still hanging around. What is it now? I talked to class about the container. And nothing. She stands by what she said. That fucking fucker. You're the worst cops in Revishaw. I gave you gold on that tape. It was dark stuff, but it didn't prove anything, and it didn't change her mind. Dark. Dark is when you start a goddamn death rock band. He said he'd rape her. What did she have to say then? Fine by her? This is what people are supposed to be like? Fucking whoop de doo <laughs> Turned on by door gunning. It did not come as a surprise to her. She definitely wasn't scared. Yes. Being serious, In by fact, the way. I think she thought it was a little funny. Funny? No oh, good goddamn psycho whore. Yeah. Seems like they wanted to give Clausia a second chance to play along. She still didn't. Oh, Clausia. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Liz isn't even defending him right now. You're fucking right. I guess it's good then. That fucking. Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors, Titus. So yeah, they don't got a good reason to kill this, this dude. This just, they just perfect. To do it. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, lawman? I think he had a lie plan, but she didn't play along. Maybe she isn't who you thought she was. Maybe she's still in denial, you know, like a defense mechanism. Mm. All right, let's do this one, and then I'll just continue. Or at least, at least. I think he had a lie plan, which seems to I ask for your opinion. Not a bedtime story. Tell it to your grandma. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I feel safe doing this, but let's just continue. Let's take the last chance for her to do what she's But she didn't. She knows she can't lie to us, unlike you. Fantastic. So now, you remember how to do your job. I'm so sick of this piss. We should get something harder in here. Yeah, guys. We should get a party going tonight. Why? Uh, maybe not then. Okay. Success. They admitted to unlawful collaboration to derail the investigation. Nice. Maybe she isn't who you thought she was. Nah. I know her. She's just a girl. In over her head. She she's not some head that's good. She handled the missing. Handled her, him? Huh? She got into some stupid shit with that guy. Shit we had to take care of. Yes, yes. We heard all about it. And the fact still stands. You were more disturbed by the tape than her. Okay, these three me tell this it's really hard. I already told you. We fucking hanged him. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men too are growing increasingly silent. Yes, Fat Angus is gonna blow this whole case wide Come open. Come on, Titus. The stakes are too high here. There will be blood on the streets. The tribunal, remember? I know you're tired. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. I'm tired of you. Them. And the whore upstairs. Next time you see her, tell her <laughs> Titus said, Fuck off! And that lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over. Yeah. 
What is okay. this quiet funeral shit? What we need is some beers in us. Bartender, 20 beers for the dock workers union. Do I look like a bartender? <laughs> am I am I holding a shaker thing and doing this with my hands? Why do we make it 40, huh? Why do we make it 100 beers? You're not loud enough. 100 beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. Okay, what is this? Convince Titus he is being manipulated. By who? By what? Okay, well, I want to do this rhetoric thing. Um, there's something that will help, but I want to check exactly how I can increase it. Because I also got some drugs that'll help us, but like, damn, that's a really big thing. I don't even think it might help with this thing. It might. I'm, I'm kind of unsure. But all right. Okay. Uh, I want to explore the new area, and hopefully there might be something that'll increase my rhetoric or some or, or my intellect. Um, let's see if my clothes would help before anything else. Negative rhetoric. Okay, nothing. Mm, this will give me negative rhetoric. Rhetoric. Or I don't know how to say it. Mm, yeah, nothing really helps. Ah, okay. At least I got these drugs. So that will be nice, but I'm gonna die soon. If I abuse it. And we're gonna uh, let's keep the boom box. Let's use the last few moments to uh, explore the new area, I believe, because this is a Monday, isn't it? It's day three. I always want to check this, this fence first. Okay, just let me look at it. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers movement. the plaza mosaic. And this is for visual calculus, I see. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Oh. Oh, thank god we can go through here. Why am Cut I looking at this? You look at everything. Nice. This isn't case related, you think. <laughs> okay, you know, if my logic says so. Um, am I using the right kind of glasses? I'm not, aren't I? Wasn't it visual calculus? Yeah, alright. I don't think it'll matter, which is why we're gonna do it. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Let's go! No. Damn it. These <laughs> tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Alright, cool. Let's keep those glasses on then. Me and uh, the other ones were cooler. Let's go over to the new area. And, uh... Maybe they'll, maybe they'll give me more money. They'll probably give me more money. I want more money. Because <laughs> there's just a lot of areas that I haven't explored yet. Oh, and I forgot to turn off the boombox. Let the... Oh, it's already cleaned, isn't it? Because there was a sign here. Let the music of Revachal just... With loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indicator light used to be. And a mechanical lever sitting in the middle. Just let the music of Revishal wash me over. Anyway, he grabbed the handle and pulled the lever up. As soon as the metal connects against the contact pins, you hear a loud clunk. Then the water lock starts moving. Nice. It's gonna be a dam now. Let's walk across. Okay, if we ever need to get to the coast, then this is the way. But please, contain your wanderlust for now. I don't want <laughs> us to get sidetracked, not with everything that's going on. Focus on that's one me, thing. Mr. Achieve it, then the next, he thinks. That's the task chain. Yeah, that's that's just me. Um, I'm playing Disco Elysium right now, just so later on I don't have to play Disco Elysium with, like, while I'm doing other things. 
Okay. Money. There's some places in uh, the old this. I'm gonna call this the old this new world and the and the place we were in for the past few days the old world. Or like I don't know, just across the lane. Okay. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in the old world that I didn't check out yet. I have no idea where to like get stuff. My wanderlust is uncontrollable. We need to check every little nook and cranny, all right? I want stuff. It's like it's like a it's like a scavenger hunt. Um, where's my map actually? Where are we? Does it tell us where we are? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, we're just across here, then. Uh, I want to find some people. Uh, something inside. I want to find some people. Uh, and get some signatures, that's right. I'm, I'm, I think I'm siding completely with the union at this point. That's fine. I think I'll, I think this is gonna be a union route, then. I like Everard. <laughs> Lol. Joyce is also pretty cool. But, but no, Everard, Everard is helping me find my gun and everything. Oh, I can walk through there. There's a lot of tracks here. Doesn't seem very well kept. Nice, uh... Nice OST change as well. He has the same amount of, like, has the same amount of mysticism as the Revishal music has, but it's a different track. It feels a lot less, it feels atmospheric, but it feels a lot less structured or, like, calming and nostalgic. It feels a lot more mysterious. This is it. The scene of the party. The fire pit. Cigarettes. And empty bottles, all evidence. Yeah, it. sounds like a party. Looks like they were here a while. Judging from all the bottles, the sunken motor carriage provided them a focal point, like a goose ice sculpture or a chocolate fountain. Hey Kim, looks like a bunch of party Looks going. like it. Mm. This is some kind of theater to them. A circus production by a great time. Hey, let's keep moving, detective. Somehow, he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let's check on this stuff. Oh, it's gas! Oh, that's the paint! Oh, it's all coming together, Fair isn't it? The carriage lies Should half be. submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian Ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. It must be cold and lonely down there, in the icy water. The seawater has already started to corrode the metalworks. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is where they were leading. Damn, it used uh, psyche, motorix, and intellect. Where's my, where's my physique? Those are the tracks on the plaza we're leading to? Did it break through the place? It appears to be so. Hmm. Should we investigate? I agree. We should definitely investigate. <laughs> okay. You get a sudden, sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Why the doom and gloom? It's just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. Hmm. Jacob Iowa's journey? That's Jacob. Your mocking tone finds no response, but the motion of the waves. Uh, you say something, Lieutenant? No, but I'd say it has been here since last Saturday. Oh, okay, thanks. Sunday. I don't know if this does anything. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. A single day in the salty seawater would ruin most vehicles, but this one looks worn even in places the salt water hasn't touched it. What should we do? Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. Okay, Great then. idea. Then we can get the things inside. Yes, give me the, the things inside. Something I am inside. all for logic. Guns, papers, 
Maybe a cool jacket. A joyrider jacket. I'm logically driven and definitely not just money hungry. A joyrider jacket. You feel a strange connection to this joyrider. Maybe he's from some kind of joyrider's district and likes blue and white racing livery, like a cop would. How long will it take the low tide to come in? I don't know. An hour or two tops? Really? Okay. Um, should I just sit on the swing and wait? Like, what else can I do? Nothing? Okay, I wanted to explore a bit more. As you sit down in the old Bef rusty like, playground, we could have waited the world for around hours you becomes other very things. silent. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. Hold on, it looks very blue. Yes, yes, it does. What's your favorite blue thing? Mm. Let me think about it. Damn it. Well, while you're waiting, I'm gonna whistle a cool tune. The tune on your Ayo. lips forms a I honestly would have thought it'd be funnier if I failed. Contrast with the surrounding bleakness. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance. Then, still looking straight ahead, he joins you with a higher pitched and slightly more melodic yes, trill. Yes, give me the band. Two birds on a wire, whistling by the seaside, looking at the water and the sunken car. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour Low tide? in a timepiece. That looks like high 30 tide. 30 minutes have passed. Looks like this might take a while. Time to present a good topic for discussion. Taking its sweet time. Ant Hill for an hour is standing in a river of leeches. That's how I try to its sweet time. I believe it's following a pattern set millions of years ago by cosmic forces. But I suppose it could move quicker, yeah? Clouds on the horizon grow darker, and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of climbing? the Climbing? 30 minutes pass. <laughs> We're just waiting here. Mm. Yeah, I do want to know what Kim's side is on, because I'm on the striker side. Uh, who did you choose? Luckily, I am already a member of an independent uh, organization, fine. and therefore do not have to choose between a rock and a hot place. Uh, so you're saying you're siding with the union? Your voice echoes no, in the water, yeah, strange that makes sense. and out of place in the environment. Wait, what? 30 more that looks like pass. it's kind of going down. Is that the number on the yes, side? Yes, 41. What do you think it stands for? Is that a precinct? Does he know something about the driver of this vehicle? Hmm. Small fish, this one. Tommy 41. Made a mistake. Copri 41. Stupid factory. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is the one that I, like, expected. Oh no. Fuck. Shit, now I'm getting the realization. I crashed this stupid car, then I. A precinct, yes. A police precinct. Precinct 41, your precinct. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, <laughs> and the most terrible feeling comes over of you. Of course. No, just no. Say no to this, Harry. No. <laughs> yes, your car is in the sea. Face it, so we can start dealing with this. Ah, uh, fine. Oh my god. It's mine! I drove my car into the sea! I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you drove your police motor carriage into the sea, after you jumped across the canal. You know what? I think what I should do is keep it on two, because then if I lose one... Uh... If I lose one, I can still have an extra life, but... If I'm like... If I get to heal it, later on I get to heal it, and that'd be nice. Uh, same with health. I might keep it on... No, I should keep it on two, because if I lose one health, I'll just die. Okay, I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you drove your after you jumped in canal. Across the canal? What? How did I jump across that? That's real far. Hmm... Okay. 
the bench. They're gone. You know this. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and doesn't say <laughs> a lot anything. of shit. There is also a fourth what? thing you've lost. My dignity. More precious than the gun, the badge, and the motor carriage combined. Lost forever into the deepest of seas. Things are going so well. You're just whistling merrily. You can still whistle. Besides, the night is always Thanks. darkest before the dawn. You're not going to take me back out of this, are they? People are more valuable than machines. Training a police officer is even more costly. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I see what's in there now. Great. Yes. Let's go take a look. We found the traffic crew again. I want, I want the oil though. Give me the oil first. Yes. That's what I... Is there oil in it? Okay, well I got a couple of expensive things. I can just sell this if I ever need it. Damn, this is 50. That's insane. I want to find the password first and then I'll sell it. But this one I need it for paint, basically. Okay, let's investigate. While we're here, I guess. My badge? Fuck yeah! Uh, and this would help me with visual calculus, so that's awesome. Is that all? Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, this one gives me sh shivers, so that's uh, great. Um, this one makes me smarter. Nah, shivers is better. Lol. Yes. Oh, that's why you called him Dubois? What was my initials? I don't remember. Younger version of you. A police like badge you. on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. Found my badge. At least something good came out of all this. Study the badge. Encased between two durable plastic Need sheets my gun, is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Rivershaw West. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. Hmm. Uh, these would tell me more about myself, I bet. Look at the photo. The man keeps winking at you with his green gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. But the badge is new. You used a photo <laughs> what, for a Why badge. the hell you can't Good identify choice. myself? A newer photo would look different okay eight maybe ten years the guy in the picture is rather good looking hey, he's uh, got a nice hair in my opinion i look pretty good in massive sideburns what, what do looking? you think his face is already uh, contorted by the expression we know what the expression Although is it looks least. less grotesque on him than it does on you now the badge in your hand shines as you rotate it Catching light. Look at this guy with you the see lines of information you. on it. Actually, never mind. And it's a shining watermark. Harry, Harry well. that's long for Harry. So you are Harry. Everard was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him you're Harry Dubois didn't. <laughs> what if I don't want to be Harry Dubois? Hmm. All right, whatever, I'll accept it. Please to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. He's not going to call you Harrier. He'll keep calling you officer when he's angry with you and detective when he's not. <laughs> the badge in your hands shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information. What's my rank? Lieutenant W. Freighter. What the hell is that? A lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a lieutenant. Uh, okay. The title of Yefrator is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, Captain. You have declined twice, thus your double Yefrator. Why the hell did I decline? There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts décomptage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors. Out of respect. Why would I ever do that? And sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank. In your case, lieutenant. Heavy duty case solving machine. Okay. 
Mm, Such a small yet side. precious thing. Expensive paper caught between thick plastic, like a fly in amber. It reads. Serial is the one that like, makes those. That's sense. just the serial number. Revachol, Jamrock, Precinct 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. Okay. I'm in Precinct yes, 41. Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. Okay. It's no right. one you are like you are, he thinks. But then again... But then again, it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. Okay. Roberts, Feuerbach, Dimitri. Suddenly, names from your decomptage flash in your forebrain. And you? Is it an honor to work <laughs> with you? Don't ask him. Ask yourself. The badge I in can't your ask him. shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it. This one's and like the most obvious a shining one, though. Water. Four Data months this ago. Year. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant W. Freighter. A new badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well then. You're pretty Whoa. sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably yes. A lot can happen in four months, especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you, of that you are sure. Okay, instead of like just exploring the new place, let's try to do some of these while we're at it. I want to find something that will increase my intellect specifically. Um, not just that, but my rhetoric, because that's totally the main quest. Or at least I'll say it is. Uh, I increased my authority a bunch. So you know what, I might as well increase my rhetoric a bunch. You know, I can do that. I can do both. Hey yo. Just give me that stuff on the ground. Like, people don't see this. People don't take the free stuff that's on the ground. What? I can almost even pay my rent for it tonight. But, like, I want to keep the money for something myself. Okay. Let's check the time, actually. Explore a bit more. Uh, this the map doesn't even tell us where. Where is it? Where stuff is? Uh, this map, yeah. I'm like, is this the port where we went across? It's not like completely accurate, isn't it? This is the swings and something happened here, maybe? I'm somewhere in this general area. I'm kind of unsure. A lot of things might have changed since then. Am I like at a fish restaurant? <laughs> is that what it said? Okay then. from the accident, so I guess I walked away. Great. Tucked away beneath the tarpaulin. And this is a place, apparently. Oh, okay, the shadow kind of creeped up on me. Hey, yeah! Give me that. Since I don't have, like, my tie yet, I'm gonna use this cute-ass bow tie. Fuck yeah, dude. Drama. So how it's done. This doesn't even give me drama. This gives me drama. I'm incredibly dramatic right now. <laughs> Alright. I look silly. Okay. I don't know what drama is even used for. This makes you... Uh, have a flair for the dramatics. Is this a bench that I can sit on? Oh, man, I just love going around doing random stuff. 
I think I should go about this in a bit more of a structured way. Oh man, Kingdom of Consciousness. I don't know what that is yet. Okay, let me through here. Now there's some people. Uh, it said, hold on. The thing said like, there are people that need signatures, because that's one of the quests, and it said it was just like across the place. I don't know what that means. Oh, what's this? Great news. The boat is big enough for a grown man like you to fit the Great in a supine position. Wait, are you serious? I found someone near to sleep. Huh? Are you, are you serious? I said, great news, I found someone to sleep. Under the spell here, I'll be free. Sarcastic self-pity is not what we need at this moment, officer. I understand the situation looks grim, but we must continue I don't need to pay. investigation. You have a home somewhere all cops do when this is done you can return can i actually sleep here or the tutorial agent say something what the hell is this reality has broken oh is the ca the camera was glitching out for like a second there what the heck okay now i can see a bit farther away from my character it's good Quick travel unlocked. Okay. Oh. This. Is this entire place gonna be replaced by that youth center that I was talking about? And everyone's poor. <laughs> Dude, cool. Okay, hold on. I wanna take out my pry bar. Oh, where is it? There it is. Can I open this? Oh, now I can open it. Great. More magnesium. There's just some children here. They're playing some marbles. The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years. I think I need old. to talk to a lot of people to get their signatures. I don't think they're just gonna say, yeah, to I'll totally sign this up. I, I need to, like, do some other quest to convince them to do whatever the union leader says. It's not gonna be easy, I the bet. The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Well, you guys look identical. The stone-kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, <laughs> as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just maybe he has it. a reason he looks just like me yeah i said that the boy doesn't <laughs> answer his brother so awkward the rock. both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt the rock kicker was just being shy but now he's enthusiastic again you're bad with kids well, it's impossible to be good with kids they're too stupid <laughs> you're right there <laughs> Let's see if we can find some police work, shall we? We're not getting uh, anything here. Okay, great. I don't, I don't know if I want to know where their mom is. Alright. Uh, like, I just kind of want to progress instead of, like, just wander around in this place, I guess. Uh, well, let's, let's get back on track. I need to find a working class husband. Morel and get two signatures. Um, I want to increase my intellect or rhetoric. I'm gonna ask Klaus about that, but I need to wait for Kim to just go back to sleep first. Mm. Oh, and I want to paint this thing. I don't know what else this is about though. Wait, I did do that. Okay. Station Lazarus. Sing karaoke and find some armor. Great. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else I can do here besides just explore just yet, or like talk to people. And I kind of want to leave talking to people to other things. To another episode. Well, let's talk to this 
fine person here, and then I'll be done. Hi, officer. Oh, that's. It's, I assume you're the woman, the mom. Anything I can help you with? Where are we? A fishing village on the seashore. This place doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called Illicibla. Oh, okay. The sign on the street leading here is illegible. Has been since they built this place. Dude, nice. I have questions. The first is, what's your name? The name is Lillian. People call me Net Picker. I think I have time for questions. And that was actually the second one. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. Yeah. Ask her about the cool sword. Sword? Helps what to sword? break the ice. Uh, okay. Her signature? What do you do around here? Okay. Saber on her hip. Oh, that's cool. Nice sword. Does it come with a story? Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three year warranty instead of a story. <laughs> it's to intimidate folks mostly. Oh. Hold on. Do you know how to use it? Not really. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. It is imposing. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. I didn't use intimidation tactics. From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men. <laughs> and believe me, men need a lesson in manners from time to time. Hmm. So are all the men... Oh, actually, I want to borrow the sword. No, Damn I'm it. afraid not. Of course. Tempting to confiscate the blade I use to keep these animals in check. You would put me in an early grave. I guess you're right. She refuses, but your word is the law. You are no, law. No, 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 let's just... We're all the men. Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. And one of them, I ended up marrying. Oh, where's your husband now? Come. Cool. She disappeared? Sounds like a missing person's case. Now this has gone where? To the waves. Ah. The sea took him. It was a long time ago. Oh. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there, drunk like a skunk, and sure I enough, see. one day the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago and I've moved on <laughs> you should have also there's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles okay let's help it to let go and move on us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy I buried him mourned for an appropriate amount of time and went on life didn't really change that much for me and the kids this is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. I got you. She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another better. <laughs> Don't know a good spot Oscar. yet. Both Explore the coast. <laughs> Kim makes it awkward. That's hilarious. Like, uh, yeah, let's not do that just yet. Um, I was asked to get you his signature. Are you? Hmm. This says by signing, I agree to living with construction noise. What exactly is the Union building? Yeah, Brad's plan to turn some of their village into a youth center. What a nice idea. Wouldn't have thought that... Uh, I thought what exactly? That Everard and the Union have nice plans for anything. I thought they only cared about themselves. Well, I guess Union members have children too. Uh... I don't know. I'm siding with the Union. I think Edward's a nice dude. I think it's gonna be hell for these people for like a bit, but like, it'll, you know. So it's, until it's finished, it'll totally be a nice, cool youth center that they would be utilizing the facilities of. Will you sign it? Aye. Why not? Well, that was easier than I expected. Fine. Here you go. Why did you sign it? I shouldn't have. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's a youth center. Why shouldn't you? That's what I asked you. It's a youth center, and I have children. Oh, I Got see. Got to give them something else to do. They're cute and small now, but they're growing up fast. Okay, I just wanted I to know why. I when I was 11, because I was so bored. Anyhow, you also need Isabel's signature. It's a bad idea. She won't sign. 
You'll find she's a tougher nut to crack than me. Sound logic. Division of labor. She leaves the skepticism. Okay, I'll try to convince her next episode then. Sounds like Isabel is the leader around here. Mm. Okay, I'm looking for someone maybe you can help. Let's see. Who are you looking for? I need both of these things. Uh, missing cryptozoologist. I'll uh, just... I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? Imaginary animals. Who look for animals who are hard to find. Who look for animals mainstream scientists deny exists. Mm. Okay, this one. Aha! Like snowmen. I think so. Snowmen, I've heard about those. Two old guys I watched the Doctor Who here. episode about them. Nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen and the like. Where'd they go? Don't really know. Further down the peninsula, I guess. Uh, I mean, fine. that's where they were heading. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? Class doesn't... Yeah, I'm not really looking for that anymore. Not much into the middle class ones Working either. class. Okay, so like, that's, a, that's a lot of do people out there. some landed it's gentry. Too... But apparently they don't make those anymore. Working class husband is a bit too oh, broad of a definition. The husband isn't for me. I'm looking for him for his Wish wife. I could help you with that, but I haven't seen your working class husband. Maybe I can help you find someone else. She seems genuinely sorry for not being able to <laughs> Okay, help. that's it. I'm not looking for anyone else right now. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? Mm, be seeing you. It's, my suggestion is four, which is decent, but I, I don't know a good spot yet. That'd be weird if, like, we do go on a date and we just be walking around. Yeah, could be soon. And that's, uh, yeah, that's probably it for this episode. I went through a lot. I, th I think I did a couple of things. Th I think I just went across, went through the, the main quest line and... Um, corresponded back and forth with Klaus and Titus, and that's it. That's all that matters. I also explored this area a bit, which will be helpful for next episode. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it for now. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you next week. Consume everything. Goodbye. Consume everything.